Hey everyone, this is Elias from Red Match Media, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 ZR2. Now, this isn't just a ZR2. Yeah, we've given it the AEV Bison treatment. Yes, uh, and we're going to do our, our little review a little bit different. We're going to have some fun in this. Let's get started. Now let's get started on the front. With this being the Bison, there's a couple of things that change. Again, we mentioned we get the AEV treatment with the front bumper here. We have some recovery points here that we can grab onto, nice fog lights here. Now, one thing I did kind of find a little awkward, not sure why or, or not sure why we have this, but there is a front step here. So I'll kind of give you guys, yeah, kind of get ahead of myself we do lose it in the back which is one of my favorite things with chevy are the bumper cutouts but we somehow get it in the front not sure why i guess maybe easier to kind of step on and hook i don't know but yeah we get these steps in the front and we do have a area for a winch here so it doesn't come with one but you can install one here in the front we have the flow tie yes not the bow tie not the chevy bow tie the flow tie so we can get air inside of here because under this awesomely sculpted hood we have a big big v8 so let's go ahead and take a look at what's under there under the hood we have the 6.2 liter ecotech 3 v8 engine it is cranking out 420 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque that is connected to the 10 speed auto and then to the chevy four-wheel drive system now the power delivery was extremely smooth from that big V8 and the sound, yeah, that was great to hear that big V8 roar. Now the 10 speed, just as smooth. It was paired up very well with the V8 to get that power down, whether you were highway passing, city driving or off-roading in this big truck. Yeah, this is definitely the way you want to go. It is a bit of a gas guzzler at 15 MPG combined, 14 city and 17 highway. So just be sure you have that gas card ready. We get down to the wheel and tire package and yes, we have AEV exclusive wheels for the Bison and they are in the 18 inch size with this beautiful black finish and awesome design to it. It is also wrapped in the Goodyear Wrangler 275 70 tire. Now these things are massive. What's crazy about them is it's extremely civilized on the road. So this thing is really a beauty on the road and a beast off-road. That's really the best way I can describe it. Uh, and the tires are super quiet, no issues with, you know, especially with these big off-road packages, which the trucks just feel too rugged, so to speak. These things are a monster on-road and off-road. And what's crazy about the brakes with this, these have been the best feeling brakes that I've driven in a Silverado. I don't know if it's added weight or uh, from the skid, pr skid plates protection underneath, but it just feels easier to brake this than the uh, previous Silverados where the brake pedal was just extremely hard to press. The suspension, yeah. <laughs> we have this guy uh, from the ZR2. We do have it a little bit more lifted. Just everything, the suspension, the clearance, it's just really there. It's a great setup. I've been extremely impressed with how good this has been. Again, not just off-roading because we've done a little bit of off-roading as you can see, but surprisingly really good on-road. Well, let's go ahead and see what we have on the side. We get to the side and we can see this is really a beefed up Silverado. Yeah, we've got some bison in this. <laughs> so let's get started on the front. We can see those big 18 inch wheels with those big meaty tires on there. Nice suspension lift there. We have the nice ZR2 badging. We have that hood that just looks great. It was actually very useful when we were on uh, the off-road area and we were able to use those kind of jagged lines for visual cues of the hood. But yeah, front looks great. Now, let's talk about protection. So we have skid plates underneath and that's what the, the Bison package is gonna give you from AEV, which 
we used them. <laughs> yeah, we, we maybe underestimated a couple of, couple of areas and uh, they took some hits, but thankfully we're still gonna be able to drive home uh, in the truck, which is what a, this whole package is about. Just being able to get this from the factory, not having to get under there, put it yourself, get anyone else to install it. Just let the dealership handle it. You'll take it off the lot and you'll bring it to something like this to have some fun. But yeah, speaking about protection, we do have the uh, side steps here, the side rails for protection. They're not the best to actually get in, but you know what? I'll trade the com comfortability of being able to get in for the protection we had today. So definitely a nice touch. Uh, and like I said, they can really take a beating. And underneath we have for the uh, oil pan, we do have, let, yeah, it's a list, it's a laundry list. So we have the front and rear bumper, uh, which we mentioned, the skid plates are gonna be in the front, rear differential, transfer case, and the fuel tank. So yeah, we have protection underneath going all from front to back. And yeah, we have big doors. We have um, the rear cab as well. Now, as far as getting into it, the truck is on because Kiddo is in here having some fun. But while getting in, you are needing to push the button in order for the, the back to unlock. So yeah, I would have liked the proximity option, but hey, it's okay. And then we, have, we come to the back, we have the truck bed. Uh, we have the nice bison decal there. We have the big wheels and we have a little bit of that bumper that we can see. So let's go ahead and head back there and take a look at that. We get to the back and we can see this is Chevy Silverado ZR2 plus more. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> That's what the Bison really is. So a couple of things. We get started with the taillights. Yeah, we have classic Silverado taillights, nothing different there um, with that design. We get to the tailgate, we have the AEV badge here. Looks really nice. That bison is so cool looking. So I really love that. We have the special uh, color here for the bison. So we do have this kind of um, black area here. Uh, we have the bow tie here. We have still my one of my favorite tailgates. So I'll go ahead and push that and I can have the top area. So while we take a break, we need something to drink and we need a tabletop. That's what we're gonna use here. Now, if we wanna go even further, then we can go ahead and just close that, open up the bigger tailgate, and then we have that. So we can have the little step right in here and just kinda hang out. I love this multi, uh, this tailgate. It's so easy, it's so useful, especially if you're needing to <laughs> load up some stuff you can get this cut out and again like I've mentioned it before easier to load things up because now you have that much less to deal with in the tailgate but we'll go ahead and bring this guy up and oh actually so this has the cover and it's just a matter of grabbing this and yeah this is actually a really easy uh, cover in the back to get open and protect anything you may have in the back Oh yeah, uh, we have the little cup cutouts here as well. We close this off and I wanna talk bumper. So yes, I mentioned when I was filming the front part, we did lose the cutouts. Am I a little bummed out? Yes, because that was one of my favorite things with the uh, Silverado are the bumper cutouts uh, for you to get into the bed. I'll trade them off. We have nice areas here for accessory lights that we can add to it we have recovery points here which are really nice there and this dips a little bit so i'm fine with settling for this but yeah this bumper looks really nice i love the shorter stubby look to it so definitely a, a huge plus with this uh, aev bumper now i have the key fob in my hand it's already on because my family is in there waiting for me. So let's not have them wait for too long. Join me. Let's go have some off-road fun. So we're going to go ahead and start on the Northwest OHV Park. We have our map and we are over here. We're probably going to do green and blue, which is two tires and three tires. 
this can probably do yellow, but I don't know if it's yellow because it's not wide enough. And this is a big truck. So to get started, I'm just right off the bat gonna go into off-road mode. And that should put us in four-wheel drive, but it doesn't. So we are going to put four wheel four high on that and we should be fine if we come over here we have our lockers so we have our rear locker uh, that we may use and if things get dicey we'll go to the uh, front locker as well because we have that now the important thing with this is we still have to take this truck home and that's why the bison is so great because there's so much protection underneath for all the important components like your oil pan, like your differential, like your gas tank. So if we do hit something, we're more, more likely to have it protected. Now we do have this map to go through the paths and we do have Google Maps available as well, which is actually really good. That's what we actually use to get here. Uh, very easy, very straightforward, very quick in updating. Now, we're gonna go this route though, when we're here in the park. So this is the on by off-road uh, app. And this shows you basically any trails you can do off offline mapping as well. So you don't have to have internet connection. Like we actually don't, we ran out of data. So we do still have access to these trails and have an idea of where, where we're at. But yeah, we are gonna be using this and make sure that we are going on the right trail so it's actually pretty good it's extremely responsive as well especially that we downloaded it so yeah we're right there we're literally right under that tree <laughs> yeah you can see right there we're literally under that tree so that we can go ahead and set up some cameras and uh basically have some fun okay so i kind of want to correct myself it's actually on x off-road app and the other thing i kind of messed up is i didn't realize that there's an apple carplay version of it to make it nice and big but that's okay because we use the main infotainment screen for that hd surround vision camera system the first trail we hit had a couple of tricky obstacles now we hit some puddles but we also had this sort of soft clay that was mixing with the water if you were to step foot outside into that clay your foot is going to get stuck your shoe is going to get stuck that's how soft this stuff is and let me tell you those Goodyear tires were incredible at making sure that there was enough grip to keep this big guy going and the power distribution was really great as well the incredible thing is I was in four high the whole time and I never had to lock a rear or much less a front differential the whole time we were at this park. That's how incredible this Silverado is. We found our first spot to climb and even though it may not look that steep on camera, yeah, it definitely was. The front end was completely up in the air. So thankfully we turned on the cameras to be able to see where we were going. And this shout out goes to AEV. Yeah, that hit right there was all on those rocker guards. They were the MVP of the day. They really were. And with that camera system, it made it easy to get this big truck in between those two trees, which was a very tight spot. So we turned on the hill descent so that we are able to uh, make sure that we have control going downhill. And yeah, we can't see. <laughs> yeah, we can't see the bottom. So <laughs> we really went on that decline. Yeah, and it's holding me. It's blinking and it's not letting me go too fast, which is good. Definitely what you want when you are going down. Yep, I can hear the brakes activating. And there we go. We did our first descent and uh, it was pretty easy. Here came a pretty dicey situation. Now our plan was to have my wife, which you can see on the top left what she's filming, I was going to go halfway then she was going to catch me in the front while we were going through the water. Except when I got in this water it was deeper than I thought it was. But thankfully the 6.2 liter V8 powered me through that puddle again guys it may not look that deep in the video 
but it definitely was to the point I didn't want to stop the truck in the middle. Now this part of the video, I want to thank my wife for being such a great sport. I asked her, can I do some donuts? And she said, sure, I'll film you. Except that, yeah, I didn't know the wind was going to blow all the dust towards her. So thank you. Thank you for being my amazing wife and for letting me have fun like this. And then, yeah, here comes all the dust towards her. But don't worry, she had some fun herself. I made her climb this smaller hill and she said, wow, this is actually really easy. And it was. Again, we did all this without locking a single rear diff and like I said, much less a front diff. That, that's how good this ZR2 is. Yet again comes another AEV MVP award because when we got to that point there, that's when the rocker guards were really doing their job and making sure that no damage was done to the truck. The other great thing was the suspension was flexing so that tire barely went up if it did and the hill descent makes sure that we didn't roll down extremely fast. We were in control the whole time and we needed to because on that left side there, there was a massive boulder sticking up which would have definitely damaged the door. Overall, the 2023 Chevrolet Silverado ZR2 Bison was incredible. We had so much fun as a family and I definitely wanna thank Chevy for giving me this opportunity to have some fun in it with my family.